hello friends today we are going to today we are going to see sprinkler sprinkler system design criteria and the mathematical calculation behind the sprinkler system placement okay let's see okay this is a room uh, we are going to design a sprinkler system on today uh, I measure the room length and width of the room. Okay, this this I made uh, earlier for this uh, our video session. Okay, this uh, length of the room is ten meter and uh, width of the room is uh, also ten meter. So this is a basic information uh, we got from this uh, room. Okay, then we uh, let's move to the calculation part. Okay, if you're looking for that uh, calculation part, first I have list out the general informations. Okay, like length of the room and width of the room, both are 10 meter. We uh, we found from that uh, architecture drawing as we have seen earlier, that uh, hazard classification, uh, prior to hazard classification, this design and design criteria based on in accordance with NFP 30. So uh, the next, based on the NFP 30, uh, this room I consider I assume as the light as a and uh, as per NFA 13 the sprinkler to sprinkler maximum distance I have listed is a uh, 4.6 this is fixed and production area is 21 square meter these two informations I got from uh, this is a this is a limitation information of limitations from NFA 30 okay after the general information we are moving to the calculation part Okay, at first part is a uh, number of sprinklers. It contains two, step, two steps, number of sprinklers on row wise, number of sprinklers on column wise. Okay, how we are calculating? At first we need to provide the length of the room for row wise, length of the room we have to provide divided by 4.6 meter. This we got from NFA 13 as a sprinkler to sprinkler maximum distance. We can get the answer for 2.17 number of sprinklers we need to put on row wise okay so i made that uh, positive roundup so it is three numbers and column wise number of sprinklers on column wise that same uh, we need to put the width of the room it is 10 meter and we need to put the maximum sprinkler to sprinkler distance the same 4.6 meter we got the answer 1.7 uh, same i made the positive roundup three numbers so well length of the so length, lengthwise the sprinkler quantity is three uh, three numbers. Widthwise, sorry, uh, row wise the sprinkler quantity is three meter. Column wise the sprinkler quantity is three num. So length, uh, so row and column both wise uh, the sprinkler quantity will be three three numbers. So total number of quantity is uh, nine numbers. Three cross three nine numbers. Okay. At next part uh, we we are going to find that uh, sprinkler to sprinkler distance. It, uh, this part also contains two steps row wise and column wise row wise how to calculate the row wise and column wise again we need to put the length of the room for row wise divided by three me divided by three numbers what is three numbers which we have found from here for row wise how many numbers numbers we found that we need to put here so we get the answer for 3.333 meter so sprinkler to sprinkler distance on row wise is 3.333 meter next sprinkler to sprinkler distance on column wise uh, we need to put the we need to put the width of the room it is 10 meter and number of sprinklers we found on the column wise we need to put here so it is if you are uh, dividing this uh, this things we, we will get the answer 3.333 meter okay then sprinkler to at third part sprinkler to wall distance it is also consisting of two steps sprinkler to wall distance it is very simple what we sprinkler to the wall distance on row wise what we have found from here this section sprinkler to sprinkler distance that is half of the section half of the value will be answer of the sprinkler to wall distance let's see sprinkler to wall distance on row wise 3.333 divided by 2 uh, 1.666 meter it's the same same as column wise 
perpendicular to wall distance column by 3.333 meter divided by 2 e equal to answer is 1.666 meter so these are the calculations we made calculation parts are over we again that uh, i repeat what what we found uh, till now number of sprinklers row wise and column wise sprinkler to sprinkler distance row wise and column wise sprinkler to wall distance row wise and column wise all are very very simple uh, simple equations simple formulas just uh, divide and multiplication for max only then uh, then let's move to the our autocad in order to uh, in order to apply the our apply our calculation part on drawing okay this is our drawing For convenient purpose, I have put my sprinkler here. This is our drawing. This is my sprinkler. Both I consider as a plan view. Okay. Okay. What we found on the link sprinkler to wall distance on the row wise 1.666 meter. What we found on the sprinkler to wall distance on the column wise 1.666 meter okay what is the sprinkler to sprinkler distance on the column wise 3.333 meter I need 3.33 okay again so 3.33 meter so number of sprinklers on column wise and sprinkler to sprinkler distance, sprinkler to sprinkler distance, sprinkler to wall distance, all are here made after that row wise. Okay. What is the row wise sprinkler to sprinkler distance? Same 3.33 meter. Okay. What is the number of sprinklers on row wise? Three numbers. Now it is fine. Now we now we are going to check whether our uh, implementation is as per our calculation part or not okay sprinkler to sprinkler distance on the over sprinkler to wall distance and sprinkler to sprinkler distance Everything is perfect. Actually, this 1.67 is 1.666 only. Uh, in uh, AutoCAD dimension settings, it, it took actually uh, 1.67. But in, uh, it is actually a 1.666. Then we check that uh, dimension for the color wise. Sprinkler to wall complete and sprinkler to sprinkler distance perfect. So you can see that uh, row wise and column wise, whatever we calculated, that uh, as per our uh, we implemented on the directly on the drawing. Okay, so fine. Finally, some words. Actually, regarding these calculations, actually, this calculation, uh, this calculation standard describes, and in NFA 13, standard describes some values like uh, sprinkler to sprinkler maximum distance 4.6 meter, 21 square meter, uh, sprinkler to sprinkler distance, uh, sprinkler to wall distance maximum 2.3 meter, like that uh, standard already described. Then, what is this? Uh, why we need to do calculate uh, like this? Actually, this calculation regarding to the realistic scenario for the particular room length and width how much this is this kind of standards provide the general criteria general design criteria but that particular room area what is the what how many number of sprinklers will come what is the sprinkler to sprinkler distance will come what is the sprinkler to wall distance will come it will it will change it will uh, 
based on the length and width of the room the whatever i described uh, number of sprinklers sprinkler distribution everything will change that i described uh, here that based on the room length of the length and width based on the room area what is uh, what are the what is the changes will happen uh, how we calculate how the sprinkler position will be exactly that is i stated here okay if you have any clarification doubts please put on the comment section definitely i will reply you thanks